What's up guys, welcome back to Shady Wheels. My name is Christian, and yes, I know our last episode was a lot shorter than usual. That was not my intention, but as I said, G Fuel is playing with my brain a little bit. So I ended it a lot earlier than I intended to, but anyway, we figured, well, we finished Molly's story in the last episode. We learned a bit about Odin and his daughter and more about Grandma Edith, Edie, or Edith, and we wound up in this bathroom that is obnoxiously pink. Wow. And yeah, I guess the way to continue is this way. There's a secret in this bathroom. All the secrets are hidden in books. It's in the last hmm. place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Where is this? Some kind of... I don't want to say basement. Basements would be the top of the house. Or at the bottom. Are basements the bottoms or the tops of the houses? The little rooms. When the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Milton and a swing. <laughs> Man. Child's playroom. It's a cool little playroom we got here. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. It's one of those things that the, you and see at theaters. Okay, so Sam had a twin. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. History can be a scary thing. How I want to remember my brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Huh. My brother said he this is cool. Another mushroom, and he did. Very cool, but it does not that seem very him, safe. He swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. You have a broken leg. Or an injured leg at least, and you're doing this. Calvin! Dino's ready! Coming! But that day... He finally made up his mind to do it. This is legitimately giving me vertigo. I told oh him lord. Going around was impossible. Oh, I hate heights. At this Maybe kid is going. Hadn't said that. Way too heavy on the height. Calvin, he just hit his foot. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Okay, how are you not terrified? Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt. I think he'd already made a ah, This is giving me like elementary school flashbacks. That's what I want to remember about my brother. I used to have this swing that I used to swing on. Ah! And always hated it. For reasons similar to this. Okay, kid. And he did. So did Sam swing himself off a cliff? Ah, oh, that is dark. Jeez. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. Or Calvin, this when is Calvin, younger, not Sam. I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Yeah, because the letter was by Sam, so it was about Calvin. Huh, and he hit it in his space helmet. After the funeral. Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. These kids really like space. Got some years written down here. Huh. That's cute. A little soldier in a... Uh... Soldier in a space person, I think. Calvin and Sam. 
Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Action figures. I was never really an action figure guy. I had a few. I would play with them every once in a while, but I don't know. Just... I preferred video games and... Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. Outdoorsy stuff. He never put it down. Huh. Sven. Got stuff to... Uh, print out photos, I guess. What do you call it when you stick the photos in water and you make them show up, basically? I think that's printing. Like the old version of printing. Obviously, before we had machine printers. This woman is very, uh... Like, she can get around despite being pregnant. I don't... I can't think of the word right now. Thank you, G Fuel. I have a... I don't want to say a love-hate relationship with G Fuel, but I have a love-dislike version. Uh, version. A love-dislike relationship with G Fuel. I'm slurring my words and everything, man. Huh. Guess that's a finch, maybe? Finches are birds, for those of you who don't know. Where do I go from here? Okay, pink bathroom. Okay. He gave a big interview about a mole man living under the finch house. My mole mom man. was furious. I thought it said wolf man at first. Where do I go from here? This way? Um. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year. Just in time to replace the old ones. Huh. Little kid Edith. Okay, we don't go back out here. So... Okay, well, we have a few things to look at anyway. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Edith Jr. One Naturally, summer, they she would evacuated be. the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, huh. she was a celebrity. 72-year-old woman refuses to evacuate because of little forest fire. <laughs> Edith uh, apparently was... Either very brave or very foolish. Or both, maybe. Where do I go from here? Back in here, maybe? Okay, let's go through here again. Ah, there it is. Okay. We are cooking with gas now. Again, everything is hidden in books. How do I... There. Oh, you push it up. I thought you, like, pulled it or something. Yes, I say like a lot. I am very aware of that force of habit. The passages were a pretty tight fit. Yeah, especially when They'd you're pregnant. Been built for smaller hands and bellies. Do I want to go this way or this way? Let's go towards the pumpkin. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Barbara, so this must be Barbara's room. Okay, can't look through that peephole. I think we should just be looking through peepholes. That, that must have been where that other door led to, the peephole to this room. Dang it. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. After what? Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Huh. Barbara. That oh, is yeah, freaky. Dinner with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it 
the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, this is cool. Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, nice screen. she was all washed up. A has been. But washed up at 16. Break, She'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. Oh. Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick. Was about to demonstrate when. Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. Ew. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing frustration. But I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles in secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding... That's, oh, finally, I guess, out. yeah, the music box we found earlier. They'll be back in a sec. Twenty minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. Next page. She reached for the music box. Oh, that's us. Okay, uh... Why in the music box? So the music box is a key. Or the thing on the music box is a key. Oh, we're playing as Barbara now. Alright, well I think we're gonna uh, end this episode off here and continue Barbara's story. And this cool little horror trip we're going on in the next episode. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys are enjoying this story. I'm definitely enjoying it. A very cool little segment here. You're playing in the comic pages, but yeah, we continue Barbara's story in the next episode. See you in the next one. And like, comment, and subscribe.